Attack on Mika! I'm Ichi. I work part-time at a convenience store. I used to work as a full-time employee for a company, but I quit after three years because I couldn't stand the long hours. I was living in an unemployed life with my parents, but they ended up kicking me out of the house. So now I live in an old apartment by myself while working part-time at a convenience store. I guess I'll close this one today. Sir, can I take this home? You were digging through leftover bentos again? So dirty, lol. You're like a homeless, lol. People are gonna think our store is poor and dirty, lol. <laughs> Sorry, I'm short on money this month, too. Thank you for always helping me. <laughs> You're actually poor like a homeless, aren't you? How miserable, lol. If you need money that much, you should increase your shifts and work more, lol. I really want to, but I have interviews for my next job and such. Forget about it, lol. There aren't any companies who would hire a poor guy like you, lol. I'll give you 14 hour shifts for late hours every day, lol. What? That's nonsense. Be quiet. I make the rules here. Just shut it and obey. The store manager is always nitpicking at people's flaws, but I can't complain because I'm getting these bentos. I worked all the shifts given until payday, but... A hundred thousand yen? I think you got my pay wrong. What? I paid you. No, it can't be. I worked so much and only a hundred thousand yen? There's something wrong. Please, pay me the right amount. It's your fault you're poor. Don't be imposing it on me. What? That's not the issue here. Stop nagging. Be thankful I'm hiring a scum of society like you. I'm giving you bentos every day, so stop complaining at work. If you're bitter, complain after you get that new job, lol. I am thankful, but... Excuse me? We have customers. Go to the cashier. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. This one, please. Oh, yes. Um, that would be 119 yen. Hmm, this girl's clothes are all wet and dirty. I wonder if something happened. While I was dealing with the customer, the manager came out all of a sudden with anger. Hey, what are you doing? What? This isn't a place for homeless brats. Our store is gonna get dirty. Oh, sorry. Sorry isn't gonna do it. Our store rating is going to drop because of you. Hey, sir, don't say stuff like that to our customer. You be quiet, you smelly brat. Hurry up and go home. Sir? The girl shut her mouth tight after being showered with abuse from the store manager. With a bitter look on her face, she ran away. Don't let dirty brats like that in the store. She's a customer! A poor brat like that isn't considered a customer. Look at their face and clothes before saying that. She was trying to buy our products, so we should treat her as a customer. What? Don't talk back to me. If she comes again, make sure to kick her out. I didn't agree with what he was saying, but I couldn't say anymore because I was scared of being fired. <sighs> Finally, I'm done. I had to end up buying the bread that girl brought up to the cashier. This is dirty now, so you take responsibility and buy it. I guess I can just make it my dinner. Hmm? It's that girl. Um, hey, you... Oh, the guy from the convenience store. This is the bread from earlier. You wanted to eat it, right? Oh, then I'll pay for... It's okay. You're hungry, right? I'm not hungry! <laughs> See? You don't need to feel bad. Th thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. It's late, so you be careful walking around at night. <gasps> oh man, now my dinner is gone. Well, I guess I can drink water to fill my stomach. So this is your house? Yeah, it is. Wait, why did you follow me? I have a favor to ask. A favor? I'm sorry for asking this kind of favor, but can you please let me take a bath at your place? In return, I'll do anything you ask for. Anything? She seems to be in some kind of trouble. Okay. But you shouldn't say stuff like that in front of guys. Hmm? I haven't really thought about it straight, but I let a girl in my room! Hey! <gasps> Thank you for-
for letting me take a bath. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. I didn't notice with her dirty clothes, but this girl is really pretty. Hmm? Is something wrong? Um, the first time I saw you, you were really dirty. But now you're clean and look nice. Yeah, I actually fell in a puddle. From that, my clothes got stuck on a branch and ripped up. My hair got all messed up and it was horrible. I ran away from my house, so it was hard to go back. You ran away from your house? Yeah, but I can't cause you any more trouble. So I'll go back home. Yeah, you should. Your parents are probably worried. <sighs> you can stay here tonight, but you should go home tomorrow. What? I can stay here? But isn't it troublesome for you? Oh, but you must be worried to spend the night with some guy you don't know, so I'll just go over to my friend's place. No, I'm okay, so let's sleep together. Together? I don't think that's a good idea. I only have one futon, too. I'm okay. I'm not okay. Good grief. Hmm? Who could it be at this hour? Who is... It... Who is this guy in the black suit? He looks scary. Sorry for disturbing you at a late hour. Is our lady here? L lady What? You found me already? Ma'am, your father's worried about you. Okay, okay. So I guess I have to go home now. Too bad we couldn't sleep together. What? Don't say misleading things! <laughs> I'm joking! Anyways, thanks for everything. I'll make sure to pay you back for what you've done for me. What was all this? Wasn't sure what all of this was, but I decided to forget about it and go to sleep. The next day... Good morning... <laughs> ah! What are you doing? What? I'm just deodorizing. You were with that homeless brat yesterday, right? You smell poor, so it made me want to spray deodorant on you, lol. I can't believe I have a staff in our store who hangs out with homeless brats. It doesn't matter to you if I was with her or not. This is my store. This isn't a place for homeless people to be wandering around. If you're gonna give me that kind of attitude, you don't have to come starting tomorrow. I... I can't do that. Haha, <laughs> right? You need money, right? You know that you can't live if you don't obey me. If you get it, just obey me, you scum. I won't allow for further domineering towards him! What? Th the girl from yesterday? What? The homeless girl from yesterday? You seem like you're clean compared to yesterday, but you're still a homeless. I don't want you dirtying my store, so go home. Hey, you! What did you just say to our lady? Uh! Do you know who she is? She's Mika, the only daughter of the chairman of Shingeki Group. Shingeki Group? The Yakuza group that's on the news here and there? She's the daughter of a Yakuza? But why is she at a place like this? I came to pay you back for your kindness. I was always taught by my father to pay back for what you get. Both positive and negative things. Pay back? Yeah, we'll introduce you to the job you're looking for. But isn't that a Yakuza-related job? Don't worry, we'll introduce you to a proper company. A job that's five days of work a week, and much better than this. Of course it's a good company. <laughs> there must be some mistake. He's the scum of society. This useless guy can't work for a company. Scum of society? That's you. What? Which part of me? You steal the money from the cashier, don't you? What? What are you talking about? Our young guys come to this convenience store often. They've seen you taking money from the cashier and putting it in your pocket a few times. What? Oh, that's not all. We had some people look into it, but I also have information that you were bragging at a hostess bar that you're taking money from people's pay as well. That's why my pay was so low. Don't underestimate my information network. And people who look down on him, I won't forgive you. After that, the things Mika mentioned were reported to headquarters. Headquarters investigated and a few days later, the store manager was arrested by the cops for embezzlement. And then, 
Mika and I have been meeting up frequently after that. Hey! It's... How's your new job? It's going well, thanks to you. Thank you so much. Glad to hear that. I mean, you can forever have a job by being my husband, too. What? Don't be joking like that! I'm not joking! I want to be in a serious relationship with you! <gasps> can I get a reply? Uh... Um... Hey, make a decision already! You better not make a fool of my lady! I would like to be in a relationship as well! Really? I'm so happy! I ended up getting a job and a girlfriend named Mika. She's such a devoted girl. It didn't seem like she was a daughter of a Yakuza. I realize you can't understand people's charm based on their appearance.